Welcome back to the Real Valley Engineer. Let's get you a train driver's license. I know we've been through this already, but there's been a lot of updates. There's been a lot of changes. I was mid jump, really? Let's show you how to dash. It's F. Let me guess. It's F. Is it F? Is it F? Can I say F? Yes, it's F. Haha. <laughs> All right. So, um,. I'm going to quickly replay the tutorial. It's basically just skipping around for you guys because um, we already did it. But it told me that the tutorial would have been a little bit different. So I, tr I started up a new game and let's try it out. I will see you guys at the new points. Otherwise, at Steel Mill. See you there. All right, here's our new first new um, new item in the game, the vehicle catalog. I do not remember that one. There's a heavy shunting locomotive, the DE2 480, which is this little bad boy, I think. Yeah, is it? Is it? Is it? It's a DE2, so yeah. Uh, you can see that at a two percent. Where was mouse mode? Where could I? There was a way to. Oh, it was all. Uh, one second, one second. Let me get to that point. Yes. Uh, store it. Yes. Okay. Uh, can I now mouse mode it? Okay. Store it. Uh huh. Comes ready on the floor. Open inventory by caps. Oh, get it back. Ready to drive the train? No, 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 not really. Because there was still like a way to. All right, well, I'll just talk it over then. Um, you can see the locomotive is heavy shunting. Um, there is engine parts already implemented. It's not in the game yet, I'm guessing. Uh, there's a maintenance score. There's ease of operation, which is fairly easy, it seems. Um... Hauling score is fairly bad. Dynamic braking is no. It's a V6 diesel internal combustion engine, two times DC direct current traction motors, electric transmission. There's a frontal radiator for heat management, self lapsing valve for a compressed air brake system, a central dual facing closed cab, so you can see both sides. It's a closed cab. And there's an MU cable and a remote interface. On the top, you can see on a flat surface, it can pull 1,200 tons. Then a 2% grading, 300 tons. And a 2% grading with wet weather, it's only 250 tons. That's basically a rating for what it's built for. Then the S060, that's the coal it's basically just uh all the locomotives with their ratings and i think it's also saying it's locked for twenty thousand dollars so the, we now have an actual currency in the game i think yeah there's a dm3 diesel mechanical three Three axle, uh, that's 30,000. It's for heavy shunting and light hauling. It's an inline eight diesel. So that's the, the blue guy. And here's the diesel hydraulic four. There's also other requirements that you need. I see you need long one, long two, and DH4 local license for those. So it seems then there's the S2A2, the big beast of the steam engines and the tender. 
Uh, yeah. And the DE6, the big boy, the big boss. The heavy hauler. Oh, there's even the BE2. Oh, yeah, that's the little the battery electric one. Yeah, exactly. I remember that. I remember seeing that in the in the in the change logs. Wait, there's another. There's another DE6. Oh, that's the slug. Yeah, exactly. That's the slug. You can also see the prices on the top. You see the key and the lock. You need to buy the lock. It's twenty thousand for to open it on the from the my gosh talking is hard you need the lock to open it from the the where it's stored the storage shed uh the same with the be2 the the hand cart the hand cart uh the be2 is thirty thousand looks like and it's only 3,000 to summon it. And then the slug is 20,000 to unlock and it's 5,000 to summon it. And here's the Dracine the H1020. That's the hand card. And that's free. The support car. Huh? Oh, that's the caboose. Is also uh, still in one of the one of the sheds. Uh, yeah, it's still in one of the sheds, and it's uh, still there. Summonable five thousand, and it's a twenty-five thousand unlock price. That's better. Uh, it has a career manager, a signal booster, and a charger, uh, living quarters, a storage, permanently thermal direct braking system, so you can just turn the, turn the thing and then it'll break. <laughs> it's an optional unit, potential effect on other units shown below. Um. That means that there are other effects for other units, so for the loco. <laughs> that means that there are other effects, so uh, like for the locomotive or for the for everything else that you have around it. As you can see, dynamic braking is plus three, so it's better for that. As well as it got item storage. Uh, plus five or five item storage and of course a plus two a remote connectivity so your remote is just further away still connected uh, same with uh, I think the hand car does not really have any anything and the slug does not have anything either so the micro shunter, that's the new vehicle in the game. It's a BE battery electric two axle. Uh, like this is the uh, this is the, the the where are you the DE two. It's uh, two traction motors, two axle basically traction two traction motors. Diesel electric. This one here, the DE BE2 260, which is the micro shunter, the new car in the game. It's a battery electric with two traction motors, direct current, a 112 volt lead acid battery, self-lapping self valve, same as this boy, dual facing cab, same as here. It has remote control, same as this one. And it's on demand delivery. That means it's summoned by the, the comms radio. Uh, after you unlock it, of course, from the shed that's somewhere in the world. 
going back into the sun. You can see it's bad at hauling. It's got a good cruise driving ease, but hill climb driving ease is also very good, but the rest is terrible. But for operation ease, it's really, really simple. It's uh, easy to maintain, it seems. Uh, and for shunting, it's perfect because that's what it's made for, a micro shunter. 800 tons maximum on a 2% grade, only 100 tons. And when it's wet, only 50 tons. So that's going to be probably only uh, empty, one empty car when it's raining on a 2% grade. But when it's dry, you can go two empty cars on a 2% grade and 800 tons when it's flat. All right, so that I've gone through like how the how the new booklet works. Let's continue to the new parts. I will skip ahead for the next new part. Oh, and now I'm getting mouse mode. Uh -huh. Funny, very funny. All right, so I found the second part of the tutorial that has changed. Um, if you go here in the pause menu to tutorial, start tutorial for current vehicle, then you can Quick tutorials can be aborted to from the tutorial manager. Would you like to be shown around this vehicle and get it running? We only need a little bit of room ahead and a couple of minutes. If there is a turntable ahead, align it with the vehicle before starting. So if you want to do it, then press yes. Then we'll go through the tutorial of starting the loco. Yeah, yeah. Need to set the lights, set the lights, watch it until two bars, which is here. Continue, gently engage the throttle, watch it, disengage the throttle, independent brake. Watch that one go. All right, train brake. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Brake pipe stuff like that. You just go through the whole tutorial to to set the train, release the handbrake, and head forward. Disengage. Break. There you go. Set it to neutral. Uh huh. Uh huh. And press cut off. And that's how the horn works. For wheel slip, you can watch this. All right. Uh huh. Fuel, you can see that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Fuel hose socket. Wait. Oh, there. Dang it. Fuel hose socket. There's where you fill the fuel. Uh huh. And there's one on the other side as well. Uh huh. That's it. You've completed this vehicle tutorial. Feel free to run it again whenever you need it. And that's going to be true for the DE6. It's going to be true for any other locomotive that you run into in the world. So that's basically the whole new uh, tutorial thing. If you want it, you can get it. All right, now let's... Well done, before driving off, let's show you the station office. We'll go there on a tree scene. Excuse me. Great job, now let's hop off. Okay. Pick up your comms radio. Uh, clear. Clear. Bye. Now go to the station office. It's quite cute that it's, uh, Oh, there's a lost and found shack right here. 
quite cute that they give the Dracene another 100 bucks. Oh, that's cool. Nice. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright. You've completed the tutorial. Let's get you right to the right difficulty settings. Let's eat to continue. And I said standard. Getting money is not easy, but not too difficult either. We're just gonna have a fun playthrough. So that's the whole tutorial. There are two things that are different and um oh. It's still going. Yes, yes, yes. Lastly, if you need more information about anything, you can consult the manual. Open the pause menu. The manual. Uh huh. That's it. Now you're on your own. Once you accept a new delivery order, follow the printed instructions to complete it. For any extra information, remember to consult the manual in the pause menu. Good luck out there. Good. Now, what's uh, how much is the shunting license? Can I get it right away? It's a thousand bucks. How much do I have? I have two thousand. I will confirm. I will deposit, and I will get it right away. Because just put it with the rest. Because the shunting license is one of the best money makers you can get. And there's always a lot of shunting everywhere. Here, see? 8,000 for this one. It's only three cars. Two drop-offs. Okay, fair. But this one, one pickup. Load and prepare a train with steel slabs and steel bent plates for departure. You need a long one. I do not have that, but that would have been 11,000. Here, 7,000, one pickup, uh, load and prepare a train, and that's going to be also one drop off. Prepare it all for departure. This one would have been 20,000. There's two drop offs, but that doesn't really matter. A logistical hall. No. And here is another 19,000. It's 399 tons. Our shunter would be perfectly capable to do that on a flat surface. This is a flat station. As we learned in our. This one. The. DE2, where are you? There. Is capable on a flat surface to pull 1200 tons. I mean, no need to complain, right? I'll get this set up. Where is it? There it is. Shunting. Load and prepare. A train with steel billets and steel slabs for departure. It's SMSL 56. So let's find it. SMSL 56. That's this one. One pick up and one drop off. We are set for that. I am going to pick you. Start you. Keep you started. Here we go. Take off the handbrake. Don't forget. And get ourselves pulled out of here. Readied up for uh, that. Was it that one? Oh, it was the one in front, in the first. Right? Yeah, 
Just that one. Or that one. I prefer to independence. Uh-huh. And there we go. It's a bit fast, isn't it? And here we go back into... Our... Hole. And I have my remote controls ready again. To play with. bit more throttle. And now we can hook up. You. Onto there. Pull it in. And you. Is it worth it actually to do that? Yeah, probably not, but... Find the one with the handbrake, which is probably the last one. This one, you... Oh. And get back onto you. Still pumping air. Forward and hidey ho. How to how to break it when you're all the way back here if you don't then I'll show you in a bit this is a coal filling station which is quite difficult to fill with um, we are over there go turn it back and there we go that caused a lot of damage but hey I do not care Currently, because any damage is just gonna be a, a hundred bucks. The rest is covered by insurance. Gotta love insurance. So there should also be a charging station somewhere around for the BE2 battery electric boy. But I can't seem to spot it for now. Even though it's just for one, I mean... Fair enough. Alright, now let's accept the job. Because the timer has not started yet. And... you. Excuse me. Huh? Huh? Why did you eat my order? Huh. 
Then bring it to A7L and then B1O. B1 outbound, which is probably over here. B1 outbound, which is over there. You're good, you're good. You need to be good. Yes, you're good. And now we just pull the lever to load. We have loaded. Now we're going forwards. Make that loco pull, 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 pull. She's significantly heavier now. Pull a little bit harder. A little bit harder. A little bit harder. And that's about as hard as I want you to pull. Can go a little bit harder. just a balancing act getting this one as far as possible there to the orange this yellow part here without overheating it there all right we will be here Bye, have a great time. We will pass this sign here. Dump. Proof of this. And uh, let's start. The push back. We are slowly pushing back. This looks a lot more realistic to do. Like more heavier and more uh, powerful locomotive. Stay on this side, I prefer that. Now, if you're doing this in real life, please don't stand on this side. Actually, if you have your remote, then it doesn't really matter. But, yeah. Do not abandon the controls of your loco if you don't have any controls with you. abandon them if you're if you don't have any controls with you so we're allowed 50 here because it said five and you have to add a zero to it every time even if it says 10 then you're allowed 100 if it says 12 you're allowed 120 so yeah that's basically how it works it's explained somewhere in all the, the bullshit booklets that you get and that no one reads But that, that's okay, you know, it's okay. We will wait here. We will dump the train brake. Because we have now passed. The sign for the... This one. And you will go nicely there. Um... Just going to leave you open for now. Put you on a handbrake. Thank you. And forwards. Pull. There. You. 
stop. And then go to the station. And then the booklet. It's there. Thank you very much. I don't need this. I need this. And we have 11,000 for that. Uh, here we go. 12,000 in the bank. What's our next license? I said, what's our next license? So, multiple unit, manual service, logistical hall. Concurrent orders is 10,000. Train length one is 10,000. Which, if you remember correctly, train length one is somewhere here. Here, a long one. We would be able to do this one right after. That would net us another load of money. But that's all for the next episode. Because this episode we have uh, completed the tutorial. And the reason I've gone back to Dero Valley is because Dero Valley is still the most watched in on the channel. Even after going for something else for months on end, because yeah, I was just into into something else, into SnowRunner, you know? It just got into the game, loved it to bits, just kept doing it. But this is still the number one viewed game on the channel, weirdly enough. But hey, I'm all for it. We're in some updates. We've done some updates and I'm ready to explore again, to go and find the new locations. Even though the map, uh, let me see the map, the map, the map, there's the map. Uh, there is one here, of course, that was the caboose. I still think it's the caboose. Then there is one here. And the lug is around. If I'm correct. It's harbor. It's here. The, the, the slug should be here. And this should be our new... Wait, no. This should be our new battery electric train. Locomotive, because this was the caboose. But all of that and more will be done in the next episodes. I hope to see you guys then. I hope that you will like, subscribe, and... Don't forget the notification bell to find out all about my latest uploads. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace out.